Will Robinson here from Robinson's Auto, toolsandtime.com. Welcome back. Today in the shop, we have this piece of insulation board. What are we gonna do with that? Well, I never really advertised my location to the public. It's always been word of mouth. So I, I got a banner made. Here I got the, the banner that I was telling you about. Hopefully you guys like it. I'm gonna be using this 3M multi-purpose adhesive Super 77. Um, dries quick. It says for best practices, spray an even coat on each side, let it sit for one minute, and then, and then apply it. I have everything squared up here. What if I leave everything in place and do a little bit over a 50-50 split? Spray this out, roll it out. <laughs> I'm not gonna attack anything, I'm pushing anything really. I hope we get more than one shot with this. I'm gonna start working quick. Well, that's why I bring you guys along with me, just in case you attempt to do something like this, you learn from my mistakes. Tell you what, man, that stuff grabs. You guys are halfway there. You know what they say. Never celebrate too soon. All they did down here was put, put some tape down, some paper down. A little overspray here and there. Work out. Aside from that, I think we did really good. What do you guys think? I always want to mention my YouTube family because they are family to me. You guys are what keeps this business going, and that's that is no lie. Without you guys, this probably I don't think I'd have this shot. That's the guys on the street. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm gonna try to stand this up so you guys can see it. Might use this as a backdrop. You're gonna see it before I see it. It's actually bigger than what I thought it was gonna be, but I love it. Robinson's Automotive. Home of the automotive self-help videos. Feel the pride, drive with confidence. You guys like that slogan? For years, I, I wasn't sure what to put on my business if I ever had it. It was always feel the pride, drive with confidence. It was one of them, or yesterday's service, today's technology was another one that I always liked since I was a kid. Um, 
This one here, home of the automotive self-help videos. This one someone helped me come up with. Oh man, if I remember his name, I'll, I'll make sure to give him a shout out. However, I was creating a, a website for the first time. It was through Web Studio. And um, I didn't know a thing about websites. And they had this forum where people would help each other out. And this guy came on, Gordon. Gordy or Gordon? And he, he liked the, the page I was coming up with. And he was like, oh man, you know. You should come up with a slogan and we, we bounce some ideas back and forth and he actually came to me with this one home of the automotive self-help videos i was like wow it's really unique and uh, something i'd never seen out there before so i i held on to that and uh so that's thanks to him pretty lightweight like i said i'm going to make a frame for it this is four foot by eight foot $250 in it by the time I'm done. Now for the border, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bore you guys with all this because again, I'm not a carpenter or anything special, so I'm sure you guys can figure it out. But I did a lot of this on the whim. I was at Lowe's and I had already purchased the banner. I was going to hang the banner upside by itself and I was like, you know what? This will make a pretty cool looking sign actually. So. Um, my thoughts are to hang it up and put some lights shining out on it. That's yet to be determined. You know how I am, guys. So, so I was like, okay, I found this foam board. I was going to use a piece of plywood, but then I was like, ah, that's kind of heavy. So foam board should be nice. Um, then I was going to find something to cover up these uh, eyelets for the banner. And I was like, hey, you know what? I'd probably use them to my advantage. And I... Uh, have all four corners as mountain points on the outside of the building, but I'll find caps, like brushed aluminum caps that look like rivets or something, and put them all the way around it. That way it gives a unique feel and look. I picked up some of this uh, angle, pretty solid, pretty rigid, but it's not wood. And um, I'm probably gonna simply just put a bead of uh, liquid nail or something around the bottom. And I'm going to just use this to frame and encapsulate uh, the board, the, uh, the, the foam board to protect it. And plus it's going to be above your head outside the building. So when you look up at it, you'll just see the, uh, this as a border. I was thinking about just squaring up the sides like this and then cutting a notch out so the other one would so this corner would come out and just square up with it. But then I was thinking it might just be easier to make 45s. So that's why I started on the other side. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, our first 45, I'm just going to make, and then I'm going to make the other 45. So. Do the best I can with what I got. You know what I mean? Where is I had to print it up and then I got some foam board for the back. Yeah. Are you gonna put it up front? Yeah, put it up front. You're getting yeah, there, man. I'm getting there. <laughs> Are you ready to make the jump? Right. Gonna make this cut. You know, you know the old saying, I'd rather it be a little too long than too short. Like that. Oh, just to the other side. About midway. I got the top and bottom done. Now we're going to do the sides. So on this cut, it's going to be pretty straightforward. I just got to match up to this one. So I'm going to do my first initial cut as close as possible to the edge so I, I don't waste any material. Close as I can to the edge. There you go. Here, 
again. Cut this corner out because that's the that's one spot I don't want to break. But we got it. It's pretty close. Not bad for a mechanic. That's something going on out there. Should come together. Pretty close here. Side, just like I made this side, and we'll start gluing it. All right, I'm back. I just had to knock that trunk out real quick. Funny thing, uh, it's not really funny. They um, did the front brakes and rotors on it and calipers, and the parts store gave them two left front calipers. So when the caliper was put on the right side, the bleeder was on the bottom. You'll never get the air out. So. Well, unfortunately, they did everything good. However, he's back in business. Um, nobody had him in stock right now since it's Sunday. So he'll be back next weekend. And he's gonna help me hang this sign as well. So, it might be a mechanic shop, but I've been around the block a couple times. Lay something here with a little bit of weight. There. That helps. You need something with a little bit of weight down here, too. Yeah, put something here with a little bit of weight. I surprise myself sometimes. You'll see it wants to push itself out. And I want that to, to hold that shape nice. So again, I'll, I'll find something to, to clamp this side up with a little bit. And then we'll put that um, tape on this side, tape on this side. Keep that perfect corner for us. Actually works out pretty good. All right, here we are, guys. I decided to take the heavy boxes off for tonight because I didn't want any other surprises 
like with the boxes leaving any imprints or or something because it is only foam underneath it so i think we're going to be good because this stuff is like instant grab as soon as you put it on there it, it holds pretty tight and i um i just took and i cleaned my fingerprints off to make sure i didn't have any liquid nail on it because once that dries i don't believe i'd be able to get it off the tarp so i just grabbed some windex and uh cleaned off my fingerprints as you see i think it turned out pretty good um come tomorrow once everything's dry we'll take and we'll run a bead of silicone around the entire outer perimeter where the tarp meets the new trim and that'll seal that up and make make it look even better and i still have to find some covers to make it look like it it's been riveted to the building if you guys have any recommendations that'd be fantastic in addition if you guys could think of anything i could coat this with or something i could just put on it to help preserve the letter and even longer or if i should just leave it as is and hang it on the building let me know Pretty much that's the sign and it's finished. Safe. Now it's safe to say this is what we got. Here it is. guys. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and thanks for all the support. Stay tuned.